You it is good yo it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today we're gonna be going over the four new takeoff players in NBA 2K22 my team while also talking about the 91 overall amethyst Brandon Clark now before I dive into any of this today guys if you are new to my channel and have not yet make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road towards 100,000 subscribers started off here with amethyst brandon clark now i'm gonna just start off by saying badge wise he's pretty much a letdown six hall of famers 34 on gold that's a big letdown six eight six eight wingspan out spot from that right corner again 40 base badges 83 ball which is fine because he's gonna get that boost if you have Monty or Don 95 standing driving neck 89 to 86 bonus 93 speed acceleration 93 lateral quickness great interior perimeter good really good defensive player and that's the one thing I want you guys to note with Brandon Clark is on the defensive end of the court the card is basically perfect on the offensive end of the court it's okay right jump shot 22 very quick timing does have quick dribble style you are going to have to apply at least unpluckable if you want to handle the ball a little bit with him here's the deal with brandon clark as far as a, a just defender he is very solid he just doesn't give you too much else and that's okay right that is obviously okay i just wish he had more total badges because 40 base badges at this stage of my team in early may it's just not that great Michael Cooper up next, 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan, shooting guard, small, four hot spots, rare outside, three-point line, 93, three-ball, 90, driving neck, 90, speed ball, 86, ball, 94, speed acceleration, 98, ladder, quickness, 73, interior. Again, guys, it's early May. Why would we use this when we got an RJ Barrett with, you know, 80-plus interior, a Cassie Russell with 89 interior? It just doesn't make sense to use this Michael Cooper card. Still, guys, shooting-wise, going to be solid defensively on the perimeter. Obviously, absolutely incredible. Jump shot 28 on very quick is an okay release. Does have the Kobe size up escape, shifty dribble style. He's going to be okay in my team. Again, another card that is usable. I don't want to sit here and say he's unusable. But how good truly is Michael Cooper? And, and that's what we got to talk about. I mean, I'm, again, going to compare him to a guy like RJ Bear, who we saw a long time ago. And it's not even close. I don't care what the stats say. RJ Bear is so much better than Michael Cooper. It's not, it's not even a debate. It's not even close. And that's my whole thing. Luka Doncic up next. 6'7", six, 6'8", six, wingspan, shooting guard, point guard. Hot spots from everywhere. 17 Hall of Famers, 28 on gold, 2 on silver, 3 on bronze. Here's the deal. We've seen a lot of Lukas throughout my team. These were basically all the same, though. So we really haven't seen too many of them. 94 three ball it is interesting though guys to me that we've seen uh, a zero gravity luca not too much later we see this luca 94 three ball and that's really it stat wise shooting wise still really good what is his release luca Doncic on normal timing this card is horrible i mean this card is legitimately horrible you even compare this one to the free emerald we saw not too long ago it's not even that much different. I mean, this Luka Doncic is absolutely horrible. I don't care about his release being hard to contest. His stats, horrible. His badges are okay. But then you look at his tendencies or animations, and they are horrible. Defensively, the card is going to be horrible. If I see anybody running this Pink Diamond Luka, I am licking my chops. It is the game's over. I see this card on the court. I legitimately know that the game is already over. So we've seen three cards, and so far I would rank them as I think Brandon Clark's the best, Michael Cooper's the second best, and Luka Doncic is the third best. So we're going in opposite order. So far, I think the Amethyst is the best, Diamond's the second best, and then the Pink Diamond is the third best. Can Dino Raj just save the day today? Well, his hot spots are not a good indication. 6'11, 7'11, wingspan, 22 out of favorites, 24 on gold. Only an 83 ball, and he is a primary center. And why is that a big deal? Because if he's primary power forward, then Don Nelson, Monty Williams boost three ball primary centers. They don't. 83 ball, 85 driving duck, 86 three ball, 83 ball, and a 91 speed acceleration, 85 lateral quickness. I'm sorry, guys. I don't really see it with Dino, right? He's got 22 Hall of Famers. More than half of them are finishing. I get it. I love him quick for a step. is nice. No one puck pulling. Defensively, he's okay, but not great. Tendency-wise, okay. Jump shot four on very quick. Might save this Dino Raja card. His release might save this card. Because outside of that, I know he's got fundamental and Kobe size of escape, but he does not have much. So, I will say this. If Dino Raja is good, it's going to come down to his release being good. That's why Dino Raja is going to be obviously good. It's just going to be a card we got to see on. Because I have a hard time. 
thinking he can be even close to remotely as good as Jack Sigma. I have a hard time with it. Jack Sigma's better offense, but he's better defense, but he has a good release. I have a really hard time thinking Dino Raja is going to be better outside of the fact that, you know, he might be a little bit lengthier. Now, his hard foul tendency is only at a five, so hopefully the flagrant Dino is gone from the game, but don't know about Dino Raj. I'm not getting too ahead of myself because, again, we just saw Jack Sigma, who I'm extremely, extremely high on him. I think he's going to take a lot for Dino to be that good. Maybe, maybe that's me being a little biased. I don't know. But, again, I think it is going to take a lot for Dino Raj to be that next level. Good. Draymond Green, last, certainly not least, six, seven, seven, one wingspan. Card has a base 73 badge. Now, this is a card I want to talk about. 91 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, 92 speed ball, 86 ball handle, 92 speed acceleration, 97 lateral. Look at the defense on Draymond Green. You want to play a switch all screen or a switch all type of scheme. It starts with this Draymond Green shooting badges. All you need, you give him chef circus threes, maybe lucky seven, perfect. Playmaking wise, absolutely outstanding. And the defense is perfect for Draymond Green. I mean, there's not really much else to say. Tendency wise, great jump shot. 12 on very quick. Should be just fine. Does have the Scotty move by the back as well as quick dribble stop. I think this Draymond Green is going to be one of the most underrated cards in the entire game. It's hard to make a good Draymond Green, but here's the deal, guys. He can play small forward. And you guys might be like, well, he's only 6'7". Well, right now, I'm playing Kawhi Leonard. Now, do I think he's going to be better than Kawhi Leonard? I do as far as base cards. Now, if you do have a really souped Dark Matter Kawhi, that changes things. But as far as their base cards, I do think Dre is going to be that little bit better. I'm a pretty big Draymond Green supporter. I really am. I don't think he's going to be super expensive again because you have a 1-4 in four chance to pull him. So eventually, Draymond Green is going to be under 100 k and as far as I'm concerned, he is going to be the best buy now player maybe in the entire game. He is that good of a card, at least as long as his release is good. I mean, he's, he's that elite in my team. And I know we can do got a lot of great cards that are buy now. As you look at Jack Sigma, for example, uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, but for, as far as dark matter buyouts, I don't know if there's going to be a better one in 2K than Draymond Green. I, I really don't know if there is. Now, Again, that, that that's me saying, you know, a Dr. J who's good. I think Draymond's better than him. That's me saying I think he's better than even, you know, uh, some of these other good dark matters in my team. That's just me loving Draymond Green. It, it really comes down to that. I think it's me loving Draymond Green. He has a lot going for him, and even when you compare him to a dark matter, LeBron, for example, I get LeBron's player model. Uh, you know, he's 6'9", going to do some things for you. But stat-wise, badge-wise, give me Draymond Green. And it's that simple of a concept. Draymond Green is going to be next level good in my team. I'm just throwing it out there. So don't be surprised, guys, when Draymond Green is that next level good. If you're getting bought by Draymond Green, again, don't overpay for him right away. Eventually, he's going to be a buy now. You have a one. Guys, you got a one in, in four chance to pull the card. So eventually, guys, he is going to be really, really, really cheap. So in general, guys, am I a big fan of any of these cards? I think I'm a bigger fan of Draymond than anybody. Dino, I feel like is kind of a letdown. I know a lot of people might like this card, and maybe if his release is good, I'll like him. But in general, I think he's kind of a letdown overall. Luca, not good. Michael Cooper, okay for what we thought he'd be. And Brandon Clark, again, okay for a free card that we got today. But all I can say is Draymond Green is definitely the highlight of the set. Guys that I think are worth at least doing gameplays are Draymond and Dino. You know, Luca, Michael Cooper, I don't think either of those guys are going to be too good. Michael Cooper, definitely better than Luca, though. So. We'll just have to see. Maybe I'll do a gameplay of Brandon Clark as well because I do think for a free card, he can at least hold it down. But overall, I think it's an okay content drop headlined by the Dark Matter Draymond Green. It's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. As always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.